feet hip width apart. Just try and relax the shoulders, find some length at the back of the neck, crown of the head rising up towards the ceiling, tuck the pelvis under. So find pelvic floor pull in, try and get that front bit, so the pubic bone drawing back to the centre and the back bit where the coccyx is drawing into the centre as well. And then TVA hollowing down towards the hips. We're going to pull in 100%, hold for five seconds and then a slow release. And then I'm going to add some little bit of breathing kind of exercise to that. So pulling in, take 100%. And then I want you just to think about the breath, actually. So it's going to be hard because we're concentrating on the core and the breath. So breathing in, in, in. So a big deep breath and then out, out, out. Okay, so keep holding the 100%. We're going to go three deep breaths. In, 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 out, out, out. Two more. Breathing in, keep the 100%. In, in, and out. Out, out, so nice deep breaths, one more, keep at the 100%, in, 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 so really inflating the chest, widening rib cage. out, 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 then slow release all the core, and it is quite tricky putting both of these together, so then we'll go again, 100% pelvic floor, 100% TVA, you're almost thinking about drawing tummy button back to the spine, and again, in, 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 out, 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 two more, deep breath, shoulders relaxed, and one more, keep the 100%, widening rib cage, broader collarbones, and then release everything, let all the core go, one more, core, TVA pulling in, shoulders relaxed, big deep breath in, in, in and out, out and out, two more. And last one. Then take that percentage down to 50%. So you've got the engagement, but it's not so much concentration that we're um, holding our breath. And then we're just going to pretend we're taking a jumper off. So slide the hands around, you're almost like crossing the elbows, reaching up and then opening out. So this is a bit like a morning stretch, so but that idea of taking off a jumper and opening out. One more, and then just switch the arms over. Reaching up, so this is just a nice stretch. Switch the arms over for the arms, a little bit of work on the chest. Notice if you're still working with the TVA and the pelvic floor and the pelvis is still tucked under so we're not arching in the lower back and one more then we're going to go to neck release shoulder glide and we're going to go three times each side so ear down to shoulder drift over to the side keep the hips still then recenter lift and then take it over for a side bend of the hand on my hip and then release. Now see if we can get a little bit of flow. So it's almost like a tree and you're kind of kind of just flowing and um, going with the breeze. If that makes sense. So you've got your neck release, drift to the side, centering, draw in the core for the centering, and your side bend. See if you can do it without kind of pausing almost, so you're kind of really working all the time into some sort of flow, into some sort of movement. Keep the knees soft. One more each side. You can really think about pressing down into the floor with the feet. Last time. Keep working with pelvic floor, flowing through, coming back to centre. Uh, so next one we're going to go to our squats and we'll have the weight handy. So start, bend the knees, hips back into space, reach the arms forwards, lifting up, adding in. So you can go up and then circle round and then up onto the toes for a balance. 
So for your squat, squeeze glutes, lift, going up onto the toes, just finding some balance. Bring the attention to the knees, check they're not pronating in, check the feet and the arches underneath the feet don't roll in. One more, then we can put some weight in or not if you choose. A little bit wider, into the squat but reach opposite hand down to foot and then kind of reaching up. So a little bit of a spin to the side, come down other side. Reach and then spin across. Now option here with the weight is almost like a wood chop. So you take your weight down to the opposite foot and then driving it across. Then you're over to the other side. So it's down and then left. Coming down and then reaching up. <laughs> we go down to the beach, which is about a 10 minute drive away. We get all our driftwood for our stove in the yurt. And then Steve's been got, Steve's brought an axe and he's been chopping it all up so he's been doing loads of this. <laughs> for real. <laughs> you get to look to the side on that, so it's a really nice full twist across. Engage with the core. Take the eye gaze to the side, two more, and last one, so you can keep hold of one weight for the next one because it's a scapula set with one arm and then just see if you can do opposite leg lift. So you bring in some sort of balance element to it. And again, you can do this without the weight if you want. Notice what's happening with the pelvis. So keep the pelvis tucked under so you're not arching in the lower back. Keep engaging with pelvic floor and TVA. And maybe you feel the stretch from the shoulder to the chest. Maybe you feel it around the back and you feel like you're getting that adjustment there in the scapula. I can also put it in my ankle, so I think it's because of the balance. Strengthening my ankle. Switch sides. I'm just placing my hands here on my TV just to keep it engaging. I think three things here for my brain and my, <laughs> my course not always turning on. So I'm trying to keep it, the attention there. Breathing out as you go round to the side. Three more. Keep finding pelvic floor, keep working with that TVA. Really, so uh, bands, I mean not bands, uh, weights down to the side. A little bit more balance. So just turn, transfer the weight onto one foot and just hold. Close your eyes. If you can go palms together and just really think about pressing them together. So pushing palm against palm, shoulders down and back. So it's just finding a little bit of centering. And if you can just think about that breath again as well. So breathing in, in and in. So it's just these extra deep breaths out, out out and then release and then just take eight little heel lifts so just balancing on one foot lifting up squeeze glutes we're getting the connection from the feet to the glutes the pelvic floor up to the brain try and keep the shoulders relaxed high gaze forwards Then we're going to go over to the other side, same thing, palms together, shoulders relaxed. Potentially we can press them together a little bit there. Maybe you can feel kind of um, the scapula at the, in your back getting kind of pressed together there as well. So shoulders down and back, closing your eyes and again work with the breath. 
you working with this balance, pull in pelvic floor, pull in TVA. Working with that same three in, 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 and then out, out. And then going into these heel lifts, eight heel lifts, just gently lifting up, lowering. Pulling in pelvic floor, squeezing glutes. Shoulders relaxed. Eye gaze forwards. Three more. So release, just a little bit of a stretch now, and I'm gonna put it down so you see a bit more of my legs and fit me on in. Cross the legs over. So if we just start with taking the right leg across the left, and then interlink the fingers. Then lift the arms up over the head. Reach up, but pull the core in as you're doing it. So it's a really nice reach, and then we're just going to gently take this over and you can let the hips slide to the side slightly towards the left foot. So it's the back foot in this position. IT band stretch, lower back stretch, and then gently lifting up. Use your core, lift up again, extend. Keep the length at the back of the neck and again, just coming down towards that back foot. And lifting up. Breathing in, breathing out, coming down. Eye gaze kind of goes back towards the thigh, so you get the back of the neck relaxed and breathing in left. And then we'll switch sides, so cross the legs. Left leg goes over the top on this one. Interlink the fingers, lift up. Try and keep the pelvis tucked under so don't arch in the lower back. And then just breathing out, folding over, looking back towards the thigh. We're going to that right foot this time. And breathing in, lift. Length at the back of the neck. Tuck the pelvis under, try not to arch the lower back with this. And bring it down. So the stretch OT band runs on the outside of the leg from the glute down towards the side of the knee. And then release from there. And let's all meet in a downward dog. So we'll make our way down onto the mat now. Or a puppy dog if that suits you better. Spread the fingers, spiral biceps towards each other. If you're a little bit tight, maybe think about sending thighs towards the chest. If we're not getting that shape from the hands up to the hips and the shoulders, drift it to a plank position, draw in the core, set back to the heels, and then just hinge from the hips a little bit more. Sometimes you just need that exercise to get into the shoulder, the chest, the shoulder stretch, the back. Doesn't need to have the heels down, we can be heels lifted. We can bend knees to recreate the stretch in here. Think about that breath again, so go back to that in, in, in. So there's nice deep breaths, out, out, and out. So we're gonna transition towards a low lunge or a pigeon. So. Just bend in the left, uh, let's go right knee, bend in the right knee, take it towards the head, lift it up, turn the foot to the side, then bring that forwards. Now option to your low lunge, or option to come, out, come down into pigeon. So up to you, depends how much you want to work with hip opening kind of stuff, or you just want to focus with hip flexor. If we're here in pigeon, let's have a moment, lift up, shoulders down and back, draw up the rib cage, and then three breaths, bring it down, forehead down towards the mat. Think about squaring the hips in pigeon to the front of the mat. If you're in that low lunge, 
Perhaps you can think about three breaths, extend the arms up over the head. So whichever one that you've chosen, you're working with those nice deep breaths again. You can think about the breathing in, in, and in, and out, out. We'll take a release from pigeon or low lunge back in the downward dog. So send the hips back up to the ceiling. Again, you could walk through if you want the stretch of the backs of the legs, or you can think about more the stretch of the backs of the shoulders, bend the knees, send the chest towards the thighs. Try and keep the head in between the arms. And then we're gonna work with the other side, so it's left leg, bend at the knee, extend, lift up, open, work with the hips. Then bring that forward to your choice now. Low lunge, lift arms up towards the ceiling, or bring it down to a pigeon, square the hips towards the front of the mat. Take a moment, lift rib cage, draw shoulders back, then bring it down for three deep breaths. If you're in that low lunge, try and keep the eye gaze forwards. Feel the hip flexor stretch. And again, we go back to breathing in, 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 out, out, out. So just slowing down the breath. So one more release in the downward dog. So step that leg back, send the hips up. So again, finding your place in dog. So whether it's bending knees, thinking about the backs of the shoulders, chest to thighs, spread fingers, or whether you're walking through, stretching calf muscles, hamstrings. Slowly gonna bring that down onto all fours. <laughs> Take a moment now just to find your, yourself in neutral and work with your pelvic floor, your TVA, to pulling in. Go back to that breath again, so think about widening the rib cage, almost broadening collarbones, find some length at the back of the neck with the breath. Again, you can work with your in, 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 out, 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 if that helps, if you say that to yourself. Just work with two more breaths. 